In this video, I'm going to talk about crop and lock. Now, PowerToys crop and lock allows you to crop a current application into a smaller window. Now, we can create a thumbnail of the window and the thumbnail shortcut is Windows Control Shift T and reparent shortcut is Windows Control Shift Out. Okay. Now, basically, to start using crop and lock, enable it in the PowerToys setting first. Okay. So, let me show you. In Power Toys, you have, if you go in Power Toys setting, once you open the tool, uh, you go into crop and lock. And here, you will get an explanation about the functionality. Crop and lock allows you to crop a current application into smaller window or just create a thumbnail. Focus the target window and press the shortcut to start cropping. Okay. Now, first, let's see the thumbnail option. Windows Control Shift T. Okay. So, uh, let me go into say uh, say one of this uh, docs.microsoft.com okay now think about it like the application has uh, a lot of information left panel top banner and the main content which you are going to read is here you know in the center now you need to focus on this part okay rather than going into the navigation and all though yes navigation is needed once you pin down to uh, you know some content and now once you know that you need to read this content then you need to focus on this middle area okay now take for example if you want this particular window to be captured okay just for its thumbnail purpose then what you need to do you press windows control shift and t the moment you do that and then a mouse cursor will change and then you select this okay let's assume we select the steps okay now what it will do is it will crop this window see here it will crop this window and you have basically created a thumbnail of that particular selection whatever you selected it will be shown in form of a window now what you can do you can you click here inside any hyperlink no this is just a cropped i would say an image okay it's just a cropped image okay you can't do a right click you can't do click you can't do anything it's just that if you want to have if if the need is to have a uh, screen captured presented in the form of a window then make use of this functionality okay windows control shift t again i will show like if you are interested in some content within your page so then what you need to do you press windows control shift and t okay and you make the selection let's assume you have selected this part okay then the cropped window will appear and you can make use of this cropped window remember this window is not clickable okay you can't click anywhere okay so that's about thumbnail second uh, option is basically to uh, use reparent shortcut so it is windows control shift r okay now see this content okay uh, now here it's uh, quite a bit you know i'd say it's more than six seven pages okay now if you want to have a specific window only focused with this content and also clickable then what you can do is use some different shortcut which is windows control shift r okay so if i now press windows control shift r and if i say i want this area of the screen you know now remember this is a scrollable area okay okay this is a scrollable area now if i just select this part then what happens you will see a separate window being created okay and this is this window is like movable okay so let me close this first again i will show you what did i do now uh, let me open this yeah windows control shift R. okay yeah so let me show you this content over here, a different content over, okay, control zero, okay, windows control shift R, okay, you select this crop and lock, okay, and now you can view this content in a separate window. Now you can adjust this window over here as in when you desire, and then this content is, you can zoom in, uh, zoom out, and you can do a whole bunch of things over here. And this content is now uh, captured in a specific uh, window. Okay. Now here, uh, let me maximize this and say Windows Control Shift R. Okay. 
you'll see here this window is now uh, again captured and then this window is scrollable and you can go into any other hyperlink say if i want to go into a hyperlink within the window yes it opens that hyperlink also okay uh, but make sure that once you navigate to this particular window, uh, you have, uh, you know, like uh, you get a functionality to make it active, you know. So there are two options. One is thumbnail and second is reparenting. Thumbnail will only give you a window in the form of an image, which is very static. And if you reparent the window, which is Windows Control Shift R, then you get a more uh, scrollable uh, window, okay? So that's all about uh, crop and lock functionality. It gives you two options, thumbnail shortcut and reparent shortcut, okay? Now, again, this is an experimental and it may cause issue with some of the uh, applications. Uh, if the application is zoomed or if the application is uh, somewhat not compatible with the functionality then you may find some different behavior so watch for this gotcha in this particular application okay thanks for watching